All right, cool. Well, we've talked a lot about these young guys. Let's get into more of the veterans. So I'm curious as to your take. Like, the, sometimes I forget, and I'm reminded, like, during the playoffs and during, like, as we're talking right now, they just had the, the um, AFC and NFC championship games last night. And I'm reminded, like, okay, in any sport, the thing that drives card prices up the most is winning, getting to the Super Bowl or the NBA Finals or the World Series, and ultimately winning the championship. So if we're talking about guys like Ja, Luca, and Trey, who do you think out of those three guys, if you, if you had to, say, invest $500 into one of those guys' cards for this season and let's just even say next season also like next two years who is most likely to make a run out of those three at their respective conference championships and maybe even maybe even get to the nba finals and they're all pretty mediocre i mean other than i mean i know the mavericks have been playing well i know the grizzlies have been like out of this world the hawks really aren't like they 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 are in in the 10th spot if the season ended today so they're in that play-in so it is a tough question. So yeah, I think you might have to dig deep here. I think it's 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 tough to say, but it's ultimately like who's who's more likely to win a championship is basically the question. What's the time frame that we're looking at? So let's say let's let's give it let's give it two years from today, which I guess would be technically like a three year buying window because if you're buying two years from today, then that would include like that next that next year's championship. Sure. Okay. I think I'm going with Jaw. Um, but if it was like a five or six year thing, I definitely would not because he scares me in the way that he's bouncy and moves like D Rose and like Russell Westbrook. Um, and Russell Westbrook has been very durable for his play style, but I get scared with injuries with Jaw. Um, very scared. And he could, I feel like he could get burnt out pretty quickly. He's putting a lot of stress on those knees when he's jumping 50 inches in the air. Um, but short, short term, the way that their team is built right now is so classic Grizzly of like grit and grind. And like, we're going to outwork y'all. We're going to play defense. We're going to get to the rim. Like we're just going to show up in the stadium and outwork y'all every play. Um, Which to me, that is such a big characteristic for winning teams. Obviously the Grizzlies don't really have a huge pedigree of winning. Um, But I think, especially in today's league, if you can show up and look at a team nine in the playoffs and say, yeah, we're about to outwork you. I think that is huge. Um, and it builds a lot of camaraderie around the team. Um, two, I would go with Luca. Um, unfortunately, I have to put Trey last, which is sad because a couple of years ago when they got John Collins um, and they would get got Cam Reddish and they were building some pieces, I was like, this might be a scary little team that they're putting together. Um, it didn't pan out quite how I thought. Um, I, I'm not sure what direction Atlanta's really trying to go. And, you know, they just got rid of Cam Reddish. Um, I like Herder a lot, but it seems like – they don't have the veteran leadership, right? So all these guys are so young. Um, and I think there's a huge premium in the NBA on guys that know how to win late game and in the playoffs. Um, and they just don't really have any of those guys, unfortunately, that have the experience. Um, they definitely have the talent. Um, so it's, I'm curious to see what it will take for Atlanta to try and get over that hump. Um, and then I got Luke in the middle as my two pick uh, to invest in just because he just puts up a 25-point triple-double every night. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I think the triple double is a little bit overlooked in today's NBA. When you look at possessions per game compared to what it used to be, you know, 20 years ago, we see the speed of the game is crazy different, um, which allow, and there's so many more three shot. It allows these guys to put up triple doubles a lot easier, I think, um, than it used to be. Um, but that being said, it's still, it's still impressive what his numbers are. It just seems like he is going to have to learn to trust his teammates a little bit more to carry some of the flow of the game because, I mean, you look at some of the games he plays and it's five, six possessions in a row where he's not passing the ball until there's – and it's and yeah, he's, he's good at it. He's good at <laughs> yeah. it, but there's five seconds on the shot clock. And it's so hard to get involved in the game as, as teammates in that scenario. So I'll put him two just because I don't know what the Hawks are about to do. But um, I think Jaws won for sure. So uh, great having you on, man. Really appreciate yeah. it. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. I enjoyed uh, talking. Obviously, it's good to speak with you. Um, I'd love to do it again sometime. So hopefully we can uh, find a date that I can uh, wake up at 530 again um, and we can make it work. But I appreciate you having me. Um, Tell Kate I said hello and then we'll talk soon. Will do. Sports Card Strategy Show 
with Paul Hickey and Connor Barnett. Brought to you by MarketMoversApp.com by Sports Card Investor. Go there, save 20% by using the promo code No Offseason, all lowercase. And when you pair that with our investment report at NoOffseason.com slash invest, you have the analysis and the data that you need to make your sports card investment decisions. And uh, thanks again for watching and listening. And um, one more thing for Connor. Uh, I see the sawgrass poster in the back so when i'm back in tennessee we might need to link up and play some golf absolutely i played in 30 degrees one thing i don't do enough of yeah 30 degrees yeah so we need to make it happen uh it's over in trenton georgia like 25 30 minutes from downtown chattanooga so greens were rock hard it was terrible it was terrible (laughs) all right well i'm glad you got some swings in man all right thanks again talk to you soon yes sir thanks paul see you man